with 20 points. India are second with 16. Kenya are third with 14. Those three teams have gone through to the semi-finals. And it's a bit of a shootout right now between New Zealand and Sri Lanka. New Zealand have got eight points, Sri Lanka seven and a half. And Zimbabwe bringing up the rear with three and a half. So if you look at the sides that have been selected for today's game, India are unchanged. This is the ninth World Cup game they've played in this World Cup, and they've only used 12 players. So unchanged again today. Two changes in the New Zealand lineup. Daryl Tuffy is in for Andre Adams and Craig Nevillan in for Lou Vincent. Now the toss was won by India, and somewhat surprisingly, they elected to bowl in these magnificent conditions. Let's pick up the action with our first two commentators, Ian Smith and also Ravi Shastri. Craig McMillan gets another opportunity back in the New Zealand side. He will the open the batting with Stephen Fleming. And that's something he didn't do against the Indians uh, when India were in New Zealand two months ago. He batted in the middle order. He lost his place in the side. So he's been in some indifferent form, but not Fleming. Fleming's had a good World Cup up to now. Highest score of 134 was against the South Africans in one of the earlier matches. That's on the air, taken. Second ball wicket for the Indians. Harbhajan Singh making no mistake at square leg. And New Zealand lose an early wicket. Disaster for the New Zealand cause. They put McMillan in to take a punt that today might be his day. Well, it isn't. Couldn't be worse, in fact. He shuffled across in front, looking to hit through the onside. And this is quite a clever field placing by the Indians because this fellow at square leg is... A lot closer than you would normally expect. He could be back another 10, 15 metres, but they've done a bit of homework on Craig McMillan, and the extra swat has paid dividends. He's gone for a duck. New Zealand haven't got a run. They're already one down. And straight away, some movement. The figure has gone up. It always looked close. Two wickets and two balls for Zahir. And New Zealand already in a spot of bother. Well, Sarif Ganguly said, I want to bowl first. There is a little bit in the air. But New Zealanders have been defeated by in swing to this point, and this is a disaster. The first one was bad. It's pitched in the line of middle and leg. It's hit Nathan Astle, bang in front of middle, going on to hit again. There can be no complaints really about that. You've got to give those. Puff of the cheek says, yeah, we're in big trouble. It's none for two. Here's Zahir on a hat-trick. Again, good delivery. And this time, the bat comes down in time. Cyrus off the mark. And the first runs on the board for New Zealand. Good shot. Just waited on it. This is a quick outfield. And the first boundary of the game. That's in the air, but in the gap as well. He's not quite timed it. Just pull back inside the boundary. Three runs comfortably taken. Good shot. Superb timing. And a nice way to end the over. Good one for New Zealand. 11 off it. It's 19 for two. Lovely shot. He looks a class player when he plays shots like that. Just standing up tall and punching it through the onside. Second boundary for the New Zealand captain. That's gone away fine and into the boundary. Got another one. Ashish Nero this time. So just as New Zealand started to climb out of the mire, Nero puts an end to it. Well, Robin, you've just seen an evidence of why this Indian team is different. On a batting pitch, this is a beauty of a delivery. And you can't fall the batsman too much. It's moved off the seam, left to the right hand, the width base. That's an excellent delivery. And they've bowled quite a few in this tournament, Ashish Nera and Zahir Khan, and that's the reason India is on a roll in this World Cup. Scott Steyer has gone for 15, the score 38 for 3. Yeah. Got him. Very, very good delivery. Terrific stuff from Zahir Khan. That's his third that he's picked up today. 
And 100 wickets now for Zahir Khan in one day internationals. Brilliant stuff. Well, he was bowling beautifully. He had already picked up two wickets, was uh, rested for a while, and then brought from the other end. And how well he's responded. A wonderful delivery. He's varied his length beautifully, Zahir Khan, through the gate, bat and pad. McCullum walking back for four. New Zealand 47 for four. Gee, that's a good delivery. That's gone up in the air. I think it's going to be safe, though. Over the top of the keeper's head. It's running away towards the boundary. Won't quite get there. Just a slight uh, mix up from uh, Zahir Khan getting around and uh, assisting his teammate. In the end, just two runs, but uh, a little bit of good fortune there for Chris Cairns. That's a fine stroke. That really is well played. It wasn't an out and out half volley. Just played through the line for four. That could be out, is going to be out. Sachin Tendulkar is the man that's taken the simplest of catches. Jabagal Srinath back into the attack, and that is a huge wicket. That really is a big wicket for India. Well, just as uh, we were mentioning that he has played a sensible innings, not a very sensible shot, and uh, Saurav Ganguly has uh, been absolutely brilliant today. He's brought Srinath back, and straight away the fast ball has provided India with a great swing, a big one. Flaming, who was shaping uh, up very nicely out there. And nothing shot in the end. Didn't read the length well on that occasion and went straight down the throat of mid-off. Sachin Tendulkar had no problems. But a lot of problems for uh, Stephen Fleming and company. He's gone for 30. New Zealand, five down for 60 now. Now, that's uh, a short delivery. And what an interesting shot it was from Chris Harris. He was off the ground, both went off the ground, slapped it around back with a square for four. Fine shot indeed. The second good shot from Chris Harris. So long on his back, deep mid wicket is back. Cover isn't, and that's four. Nice, gentle, loopy half folly, and it gets the Cairns treatment. And he has. Can you believe it? He's hit it straight down back to point stroke. The simplest of deliveries to put away, and this dismissal really sums up New Zealand's day to this point and also India's day just when a batsman has uh, looked dangerous or looked ominous 20 of 26 balls for Chris Gaines and the Indians have uh, managed to send him back packing slowish ball and trying to get hit another boundary because there's no sweeper cover Zaire Khan gets a simple catch at point he's happy not Chris Gaines one for 20 and New Zealand 88 for six. Jacob Oram is the new player for New Zealand. Now that's not a bad shout. That uh, looks like pretty adjacent to me. Up goes the finger as well. So uh, Daryl Harper agrees. And Zahir Khan has picked up another one. This has been a remarkable performance from him. He's picked up four now. And New Zealand on the rack. I mean, you hit the nail on the head. They are on the rack at the moment. And have a look at the Indians. They're jubilant. They're enjoying their cricket. You can see it's a team playing out there. And Zahir Khan spot on once again with the line and the length. Another batsman caught on the crease. No problems there for Daryl Harper. The finger has gone up. And uh, New Zealand at the moment looking down the drain. Chris Harris departs, 96 for 7. Looked away leg side, that's going to go for four, that races away. Also brings up the 100 for New Zealand, so they've eventually got there. They've lost seven wickets though. Ashish Nero not happy with that last delivery of full toss that was just worked away quite easily. Gone over the top has Danny Vittori. He knew uh, he'd be able to get one sooner or later. He's not one to normally just push it around and block. Decided to break the shackles and did a four over mid on. Talking of domination, that was dominated by Jacob Oram. That shot was a good one coming down the track and putting it away very easily.
looking for the big one over mid-wicket. So, Shiwag in on the act as well, and New Zealand lose their ninth wicket. Well, no need to bring back Zahir Khan. You've got Varinda Sevak, and he's picked up a wicket. This was a loose shot. Trying to hoist it against the spin. A nothing delivery in the end, dragging it back into the stumps. Jacob Oram walking back after getting 23. New Zealand 9 down now for 144. 146 for 9, 5 overs left. A fall of wickets on screen for you, and uh, we're running out of room to put the bowlers in because the eighth bowler is now going to bowl, Dinesh Mongia. And he's got a wicket with the first ball and uh, just closes down the innings very nicely indeed. Amazing. Every change has made sense. Saurav Ganguly has been on top of his game, on top of uh, the art of captaincy. And Dinesh Mongia, a real makeshift thing coming on to bowl. And uh, what he does? He picks up a wicket. Straightforward catch, another soft dismissal. A loopy delivery, could have put it anywhere, Daryl Tuffy. But uh, straight down the throat of the bowler, no problems there for Dinesh Mongia and India absolutely delighted with this effort. 146 all out New Zealand on a perfect batting track and on a perfect day. India will be delighted. They won the toss, elected a ball, and they've done the business. Bowling New Zealand out for 146. They struck in the first over with Zahir Khan picking up Craig McMillan and also Nathan Astle in consecutive deliveries. Stephen Fleming, the only batsman really to offer any resistance. 30 runs of 59 balls, and really it didn't improve at all from there. Chris Cairns looked threatening for 20, but he couldn't go on, and uh, Oram also did a pretty good job for 23. But disappointing in the end to be all out for 146. And just about everyone had a bowl for India. Eight bowlers used in total, but the man who did the damage is the man right at the top, Zahir Khan. Eight overs, four for 42. That's the third time he's reached those career best figures, so he likes those numbers, that's for sure. Javagal Srinath did a superb job, one for 20, and also Ashish Neera, 10 overs, one for 24. Outstanding pressure from those three enabled Harbhajan Singh to come into the attack and bowl Hoots full 10 overs and pick up two for 28. And even uh, Dinesh Mongia, just the one delivery, and he picked up a wicket with his very, very first delivery. So impressive performance from India, and they are in the box seats at the moment. India's target is 147 runs only. They've got 50 overs available if needed, and they need to go at just under three runs to the over. He's been in wonderful form in this tournament. It'll be interesting to see whether he's going to take strike. Not today. The last time. Hindulkar was at the Centurion with Virendra Sehwag. He was the one taking strike because Wasim Akram had the ball in his hand. Well, he's a dangerous batsman and just found form in the last match against Sri Lanka. One down. Shane Bonda struck very, very early in proceedings. Virendra Sehwag is the man. Had a bit of a waft at it. It was a good pace delivery. Just under 149 k's per hour. And they've got the initial breakthrough. Well, he flashed hard at it and may have been surprised that the catch was taken. But generally, the ball really flies off the edge, may have got the bottom half of the bat, but Scott Styrus has taken a good catch. He's made a difficult catch look very easy. So that's a big wicket for New Zealand first up. Seva gone for one, and the score four for one. Got him! Right through him. That is a great delivery from Shane Bond. 153 k's per hour. Magnificent stuff. And they've picked up the skipper this time. Two down. And that reaction of Ganguly tells you the story. He knows he's been done by a great delivery. This was quick. More importantly, I think it was a surprise delivery. Ganguly was expecting the ball to be about good length, shaping away from him. But this one is full. And it's got the edge of the off sun. So fortunate in that way, but what a great delivery. And he knows it. Gone for three, the Indian captain. The score, nine for two. Tendulkar just drives that one through the offside for four. What a glorious shot that is. You will not see a better off drive than that. And it's in a pressure situation as well. And again, back-to-back -back boundaries for Sachin Tendulkar. In exquisite style. 
Full shot this time, he's got this away in front of square, he's picked up that length very quickly. Three boundaries in three balls, three outstanding shots. Gone! Brilliant catch! Oram is the man, he has taken an absolute blinder. Wow, what a huge wicket that is! Darrell Toffey has been hit for three fours in the first three balls, he's come back with the fifth ball and he's picked up Sachin Tendulkar. A sensational start here in the second innings and so was the first innings in the morning India launching into New Zealand with the new ball New Zealand's turn to repay it's gone quick and low to Jacob Warren safe catch taken again and Sachin Tendulkar will be a disappointed man it's a slow walk back to the dressing room 15 of 16 balls and India in some trouble 21 for 3 through the gap Forget about chasing that. That's beautifully timed. That was the Yorker. Just a little full. Just too full and too wide. Over the top of Harris. Only just. And Bond is a tad unlucky again. That's a handy shot. Smashing cover drive. Good shot through the covers and run away for four. Harris gives up on it already. Once again, beautifully executed by Mohammad Kaf. He's looking a million dollar out there. That's flashed away. If you're going to play the shot, play it hard, top edge, and it's flown away for four. Good shot. Beautiful stroke. Mohammad Kaif just oozing with confidence now it's put away and we'll go for four so a lovely way for India to finish the over looking for two should be able to pick up two Nathan Astle is, is uh, down there and they uh, stroll back comfortably for the second Great running. Chris Keynes uh, is not the fittest man in the outfield, and Mohammed Kev is certainly the fittest. Brings up the 100, which means India just need 47 now to win. So 50 for Mohammed Kev. Another valuable innings for his team. Well, what a shot to bring up your 50. He's played it fine. He looked for the second. There's a third man there. And eventually makes it. Oh no. The third umpire has been called for Peter Willey. Asking the question. Dravid thinks he's made it. There isn't too much excitement in the New Zealand camp. Well, I thought it was touch and go. Good flat throw from the deep. Shane Bond uh, was the fielder. Rahul Dravid uh, quickly across for the second. And uh, yes, got there in the end. Stretched really well, extended his arms to ground the bat. And yes, a couple of frames in. This is absolutely brilliant running from Rahul Dravid. He must be tired and not out is the call from the third umpire. Indians looking for the pull and he'll get the boundary not from the meter of the bat but there was a lot of vacant space in that area and the partnership is now a hundred runs beautiful stroke he's batted so nicely he really has. In, in several games when he's been needed, Raul Dravid, the vice-captain, has come in and done it. And another one. Consecutive boundaries. Cairns is busy again. Staris has been guilty of just drifting down that leg side. Four more. 
and India get ever closer as Rahul Dravid goes to a very valuable 50 indeed. He's hit that for four. That levels the scores. The hesitation was because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't the winning hit. Well, he's done it in style. Two clean hits to finish the game. Another emphatic win for the Indians. As their march in this World Cup continues. Seven wins on the trot. New Zealand have been outplayed by seven wickets. By a good bowling performance by India earlier on. And then uh, the Indians going out there and getting the winning runs comfortably. 150 for three. Dravid and Kef involved in a wonderful partnership. 129 runs. 68 not out Kef. 53 Dravid. And the Indian supporters have plenty to cheer about. There certainly were some concerns at the start of uh, India's batting with Varunasewa going for one and Sachin Tendulkar for 15 and Sarav Ganguly being yorked by uh, Bond for three. And then a great partnership of 129 between Rahul Dravid and also Mohammed Kaif. Kaif getting 68 not out and Dravid not out on 53. They steered India home, 150 for three to finish. New Zealand bowling, Shane Bond was outstanding right at the start, picking up some quick wickets and bowling very briskly indeed. Two for 23. He got off eight overs tough. He picked up one for 41 off 10, but really no one else was uh, providing too much penetration. All the figures were fairly tidy, but of course, uh, India weren't chasing too many runs. So looking back at this game, New Zealand all out for 146. A terrific bowling from India. Zahir Khan, Javagal, Srinath, and also Ashish Nira providing terrific pressure at the start. Abhijan Singh came in the attack in the middle order and picked up two for 28. And India in reply after a bit of problem right at the start and they lost three quick ones. Three for 21 they were at one stage, ending up 150 for three. Terrific stuff from Rahul Dravid and Mohammed Kaif. And India eventually won another game, and this time by seven wickets. So four points to India today, and they go to 20 now, and they join Australia with 20 points. One, two, and three. That's all settled. Of course, Kenya on 14 points, and uh, New Zealand and Sri Lanka are fighting out for that fourth spot. New Zealand at the moment half a point ahead of Sri Lanka. Important game also coming up. Zimbabwe bringing up the rear with three and a half. And remember, the top four qualify for the semis, and it's tight for that number four spot.